Hi everyone. In this video, I would like to talk about the difference between Citrix Director and Citrix Studio. If you are someone who is wondering what is the difference between these two uh, consoles in Citrix environment, then I would like to clarify in this particular video. So Citrix Director is a tool where you can actually troubleshoot and monitor the Citrix environment. Okay, so let's say for example, if there is a user who is facing some challenges, who is trying to connect to a Citrix uh, virtual desktop, but for some reason, this user is not able to launch this virtual desktop. So using Citrix Director, you can easily find out like what is the uh, status of this VDI machine, whether it is you know turned on or turned off, whether it is in maintenance mode or not. Uh, what all desktops, what all virtual desktops are assigned to this particular user? When was the last time this uh, uh, user has connected to this uh, particular virtual desktop? So basically, it's for troubleshooting purpose, troubleshooting and monitoring purpose. You use Citrix Director. Okay, so this is how Citrix Director looks. Okay, so when you search for a particular user. Okay, if you search for a particular machine, you can actually find out the details of that particular machine, like what is the name of that machine, uh, the delivery group, machine catalog, all these things. So, so it gives like, uh, like from a single glance, you can actually find out what is actually happening in the environment. Okay, you can find out about the video machines, you can find out about the CPU memory utilization on that machines, you can actually find out what is uh, happening about the infrastructure components like delivery controller or license server or database or whatever it is so i would say that citrix director is like a troubleshooting tool or a monitoring tool uh, for anyone who is working in citrix environment it could be l1 or l2 it's it gives a uh, it's an interface for them to uh, understand what is a quick glance to understand what is actually happening to the uh, virtual machine onto the customer customers environment okay and uh, while coming to citrix studio i would like to open that in a second so this is citrix studio this is more for uh, making infrastructure changes like if you want to configure something if you want to uh, make any changes to the policies if you want to uh, create new machines you, if you want to create like 100 machines or 500 machines you can you can use this particular console to uh, create those machines if you want to assign if you want to assign like 500 users if you want to assign a group of people to a particular uh, application or a virtual desktop so you can actually do it using citrix studio and also you can uh, you know uh, give some kind of role so be here you here as an administrator you can actually give what all uh, a person would get access to in a citrix environment okay if you using studio console you can set some policies like okay uh, this particular people uh, okay 10 people who is who 10 people who are working in this uh, you know l1 help desk team should access to should, should get access to Citrix Director, should see these particular details when they log into the Citrix Director. They can you know, actually download the report. So all these things, that particular access, you can actually configure using Citrix Studio. And also you can configure like, you know, you can see what is the status of your license server. If you want to upload some license files, you can do it from here using the license administration console. You can actually upload the licenses. You can configure controller with the storefront from the studio console. Okay, you can configure zones. You can create zones. Okay, so this is like the high level, uh, you know, management of the Citrix infrastructure. So basically, Citrix Studio is used by level two and level three and technical architects to you know make any infrastructure changes to the uh, Citrix environment. While Citrix uh, director is a tool where you can actually monitor you can actually troubleshoot if something comes up and you know it would be easy for the administrators to fix it as soon as possible before they route the incident before they send it across to level 2 or level 3 so 
this is the major difference difference between citrix director and citrix studio okay both can be accessed both can be accessed uh, uh, depends upon your requirement uh, your uh, the access would be given to you okay uh, i hope you find this information helpful if you have uh, any questions you can always leave a comment thank you